Welcome back to Wasteland 2. We've just defeated what seems to be most of the Rail Thieves, although there might be more. In fact, I'm almost certain there are more, because I still have a quest somewhere in here. Uh, get rid of the Rail Thieves for Kekaba. We took out three bands of Rail Thieves. No evidence of additional gangs can be found. Kekaba will want to know about this. Oh, never mind. Okay. I guess we have defeated them all. Excellent. So let's explore this little unexplored area here, and then hopefully find the Atchison's somewhere down here. Let's hope there's no more ambushes. Ah, oh, it's a dead end. The box down there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I see you. You know, I... It almost feels cheap to be using this Z key, which highlights items like this. Or, well, not necessarily items, but things that are interactable. Because you could have really easily missed this, and it seems like that should be a thing. Like, you should really have to look hard to find this, but if I press Z, I really don't have to. But given that the option is there, and you're obviously intended to use it, I, I can't ignore it. Like, I, I pretty much have to use it. I know it's there. Although, I won't do that for obvious exploits, like using the demolition skill to figure out when something is trapped, even though you don't have the perception skill to actually know that. Because that's obviously not intended. There's no way. Whoever this B person is, they must have been very popular to get so many medals named after them. Ooh, sniper ammo. Nice. Carabiner. Carib... Caribiner. It's a sniper rifle. Kind of looks like an assault rifle. Let's take a look at that thing. In just a second. Uh, looks like that's it. Yeah, that's all explored. That's good. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, let's get my people over here. And let's take a look at the sniper rifle. Okay. Lower damage. Same hit chance. Higher critical chance and much higher critical multiplier. Higher chance to jam, but that's because of the attachment. Much lower range. Higher capacity. Same armor penetration. Less AP. Hmm... So it does less damage, but it has a greater critical hit chance and a much greater critical multiplier. So its normal damage is going to be lower, but its its high damage is going to be higher. That range, though, I, I'm sorry, I'm not ready to give up that much range. That's six less if you discount the uh, the small scope I have attached to the other one. And the 5 AP, doesn't she normally have, like, 8, I think? So it's still not enough to shoot twice during one turn. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with my current weapon. Hmm. How do you get down here? Oh, I don't think you do, because I'm clicking and, uh... Yeah, it doesn't seem like you can. Oh yeah, she's overloaded. Eh, whatever. What effect does it have? Oh, it's just a warning, actually. You're close to encumbered status, but I'm not actually encumbered. This place looks like it's made out of matchsticks and broken dreams, and the people are as dull-eyed as starved dogs. Also, there are almost no men among them. It looks like the Atchitsons are nearly all women. What? 
I, I don't see anyone. What are you talking about? So many women. So few men. What's going on? <laughs> Man, if dust was gold, these people would be rich. The Topekans have been treating these people like shit. Almost all women. Why? Yeah, I was thinking there's probably more to the story than what I heard from the Topikins, and it definitely seems like that's the case. Okay. Oh, they have a train. <laughs> you have a first class seating on top of it. You see a woman scrubbing the rust off of the barrel of a pistol using sand from the dune. She might once have been attractive, but the relentless sun has bleached her hair and turned her skin to leather. As weathered and hard as a leather riding crop, looking into her eyes is like looking into a grave. Don't get in my way, rangers. I'm going to end it all. Uh, end what? End the feud. Before it ends us. It's already taken everything from me. My sons. My husband. My sister, who married a Topekan. And her daughter, too. Master Kekaba hung my menfolk. And Casey James' bombs blew up my womenfolk. All because of pride and selfishness. Well, I'll make an end of both of them. Okay, um, where to start? Uh, there's a lot. <laughs> you have a problem with the Topekans? That's <laughs> such a dumb question. <laughs> After all I've learned, that's such a dumb question. But just in case, it leads to something interesting. There are no Topekans, and no Atchinsons either. Those names don't mean anything. We're all the same tribe. We all wander and work the rails. Folks just like to have an us and a them, so they can blame things on somebody other than themselves. Idiots. What do you think of Master Kekaba? A prideful fool who thinks he's a king. He's letting his people starve rather than make peace. All because he thinks somebody's got to be punished for something that weren't nothing but an accident. Kekaba hung your men? All the Atchison men are hanging from the Topekans' gate. We've lost a whole generation at this feud. It's long past time for the women to stop it. Wait a minute. So let me just get this right. Let me get this straight. So you're saying pretty much all of your men... ...are well hung? <clears throat> How do you feel about Casey James? He may be my leader, but he's as much of a fool as Kekaba. He'd rather have a worthless symbol in his hand than food in the bellies of his people. Worthless symbol. Must be talking about the Golden Rail. The Holy Rail! So Casey is the one planting the bombs? Casey will deny it, of course. But he's the one who plants all those bombs. He says he'll stop when Kekaba stops hanging Atchison's. And Kekaba says he'll stop hanging when Casey stops bombing. And it goes on and on and on. Well, no more. Casey James killed women of his own tribe? Casey's bombs don't pick and choose. He said he was sorry my kin got killed. But it was their fault for being related to two Topekans. I say it's his fault for planting the bombs. You're not proud to be an Atchison? Why should I be? We're just another bunch of murderers, just like the Topekans. Now, somebody did tell me that the only way to fully, like, 
to get the best resolution to this conflict is at a certain point to actually type in a keyword to one of the main players in this conflict, which I'm assuming would either be Melissa or Kekaba. I don't know what that is, of course, because it wouldn't be any fun just to look that up. But it's got me thinking about the text parser, because in case you didn't know, because I've pretty much never used it, there is a text parser. You can type in whatever you want. And I think it was somewhere in like the tutorial or something where it said, maybe it was a manual, that said something about how there are certain secret keywords that you can type into this at some at certain points to make things happen. And up until this point, you know, 10 plus hours in, probably more like 15 hours at this point, I've never come across a situation where I've thought of something I could possibly type in. The only couple of things I have thought of, I guess, like the laser discs and stuff, that stuff didn't actually work. So it doesn't seem to be something that's used very often. But it has got me thinking about what I could possibly use it for during this conflict to solve it better. Like, I'm trying to think of key concepts that perhaps have not shown up in the dialogue option, so maybe I'd have to force it by typing it in as a keyword. Melissa did mention the symbol, Casey wanting the symbol, which is obviously the golden rail. Or the golden tie, the golden rail, whatever the hell it is. But that wasn't actually a, a dialogue option, so maybe... If I type it in, I could do some golden... Is it the golden rail? The golden grail! No. Grain? Close enough. Golden. Gold. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> Alright. There's got to be another way. Let us try. Give me one good reason why. Do you think you'll be able to make peace between the, those fools? Or maybe, maybe you want to kill them before I do. Give me one good reason why. Okay, this could be the moment where I could type something in. But what would I type in? What if I kill them? I'm certainly not going to kill them. I mean, I suppose that's resolving the conflict, but that's a dumb way to resolve it. I mean, if I'm going to end this with, you know, one of the sides dying, then I might as well just leave them to it, because they're going to do that on their own. And that way, I won't have any moral, moral responsibility. So in other words, I come out ahead, and they're all fucked. Sounds good to me. Peace is obviously the way, the way to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep pounding this golden rail. Golden rail. At some point, this is going to mean something, right? God damn it. One good reason why. For the children. I don't know. Because it's better than everybody dying? It's got to be a keyword, though. Like, I can't type out a freaking paragraph. I'm going to have to think, and I'll be right back. I really can't think of a better argument than peace. Try a couple things. Um, you're the same people. It doesn't really work into a little concise sentence. Because uh, no one else will die? That's too long of a sentence. There's no way that could work. That's not a keyword. Uh, do it for the break shoe. What was the name of the guy? The magic dude? The golden spike? Do it for him? Your lord and savior? I don't know. I'll make peace. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. But okay. I'll stay my hand until the next Atchison or Topekin dies. If there's another death in this feud, then I'm taking heads. First, Kekaba's. Then Casey's. Then mine. Okay. Right. Gotta be careful. I'll be watching, Rangers. The second to the last of the V-8 interceptors.
Because if the Topekans weren't bad enough, now we gotta deal with the Rail Thieves too? No, you don't. I just killed them all. Find some food, but the Topekans will catch you, and if I stay here, we'll starve. Let me go if they don't hang women. Jesus. You can hear sobbing from inside. Can I give them food? I have copious amounts of grip tape. They can eat a wolf's paw, or some glass shards. I have some painkillers that can relieve the horrible gnawing pain of starvation. Hold on, maybe I can help them. That does not look like a safe way to have a fire. Leave us alone. Do you mind? Uh, okay. You want to you want to starve? All right. <laughs> I want to see what's in here, but surely that would be stealing, wouldn't it? Well, it's not stealing to look, is it? <gasps> what the hell? That thing looks fancy. It's not actually worth that much. Hold on, I wanted to compare it. Much lower damage, but it's times three. Same hit chance, greater range, greater capacity. Armor threshold is lower, which I believe is a good thing. Yep. Uh, it scales better, as far as the, arm, the threshold damage multipliers. Only does a burst shot, though. Hmm. Hmm. pretty good. Not exactly amazing, but it's pretty good. Regardless, I'm not going to steal starving people's only possessions. if I can actually talk to anybody. Seems like everybody's nameless. Oh no. This guy isn't. Honest John. Howdy. Welcome to Switchman Antique. Antiques. If you need any help, give me a shout. Name's Honest John. Why do you have the picture of... Was that Vargas? No, that wasn't Vargas. That was the map dude. Who was the map dude? I don't know, but you have the picture of one of the... You have a, the same portrait as one of the main guys in the Ranger. Organization. That's weird. A filthy-looking old man with a patchy white beard and thinning fly-away hair. He wears a red neckerchief for a loincloth. And nothing else. He smells as bad as he looks. Yeah, if you say anything you like, just give me a holler. Why is this place called Switchman Antiques? Well, I used to be a switchman. But with the train not running, I had to find other work. So now I sell fine antiques to discerning customers. These aren't antiques. All I see is trash. Of course they're antiques. Why, well, that garbage bag over there is from before the apocalypse. And that dried up piece of grapefruit is older than me. Honest John wouldn't lie to you. Sure. Okay, what do you got? Sega J Wait a minute. You wouldn't happen to have a CDI, would you? Neo Geo? <gasps> I knew it! <laughs> yes. He doesn't even know what he has his hands on. It's only five bucks. Hell yeah! I'm gonna buy all these things. See if the uh, Ranger Museum wants them, maybe. Is 
so that did my quest. Found a CDI machine. Wonder if it still works. I don't know. Does it take CDs? Does it take laser discs? vaults, a pile of guns, and a toaster. I have a toaster repair skill of one. Let's see if it's good enough. Of course it's not. So they won't mind if I just take this? I mean, there's nobody here. They wouldn't know I took it. Is it stealing? I mean, obviously it is stealing. Oh, I'm not going to take it. It might agitate the conflict. It probably won't, and I don't think it would actually have any consequences, but it just doesn't really make any sense for me to do that. I mean, the rangers are not just indiscriminate thieves. Well, I mean, they can be, but they shouldn't be. Chisel, I'm ready for a fight. I'm not. So, rangers... You've come to take me down. Well, I've had a good run. Just don't expect me to go quiet. I got work to do here, and I ain't leaving until it's done. T take you down? Why? Yeah, you know, for all my countless crimes. Why, I bet you rangers have a file on me a mile thick. I'm Adian Bomosidabo known as The Chisel. You must have heard of me. I'm the last of the hard men, you savvy? No, I'm not. What crimes would those be? Too many to name. Crimes, misdemeanors, rude things. You calling me soft? Why, I've shot men for less. A lot less. Why do they call you Chisel? Why do they call me the Chisel? <laughs> Everybody knows why they call me the Chisel. It's because I... Because I... Uh, huh. Well, what do you know? I forget why they call me that. Anyhow, you can take it from me. It was for something terrible. I guarantee it. What kind of work do you do? Huh? Ain't it obvious? I'm Casey James, Security Chief. Okay, now we're getting to some, something interesting. So you know Casey James? I'm a Security Chief, ain't I? I provide protection against the rail thieves and then Topekans. He provides me a yurt to stay in. Maybe not the best price I've ever charged, but just watch your step, whippersnapper. I'll earn every penny. Good job, old-timer. The rail thieves are all gone. With a little help from us. <laughs> That's right. I knew I'd scare them off sooner or later. Tales of the chisel... Wreck? Reek? Reek terror in the hearts of weaker men? Wreck? For some reason, I found myself incapable of reading that properly. You're in charge of security around here. Really? Damn right I am. And until this war with them Topekans is over, I ain't going nowhere. I'll turn myself in when the fighting's done, but not before. Alright, nice chatting with you. Anything else you want to talk about? We got the golden rail. Tell me about Casey. Cassidy, well... Hmm. Tell me about bombs. God damn it. I 
I feel like the hidden keyword thing in the text parser probably comes up like once in in a thousand lines of dialogue. The story of John Henry. Isn't that the dude in the rail, the golden rail? Hold on, I think I need to read this, but it would certainly help if I had part one. Hmm. Fighting straight through the heart of the mountain? Yeah, they're talking about building railways. This is probably really important if I want to resolve this conflict, but I really want part one. Starting on part two is stupid. Where the hell could part one be? Could be anywhere. The seesaw looks like it was pieced together from spare train parts. Does it? I don't suppose it includes a brake shoe, does it? This is the biggest shack in the camp, but that isn't saying much. Strangely, it smells faintly of coffee and gunpowder. Hmm. It is quite large. This ain't the time to bother me, Rangers. There you are, you bombing motherfucker. You know, instead of blowing up kids and men and women, I think you should blow yourself. Know what I mean? With a bomb? Like, explode? Yeah. Unopened tin of gunpowder. And an empty can of coffee beans. I guess that explains why it smells like coffee and gunpowder. A tough, leather-skinned man in his early 40s. His angular face is framed by wild sideburns and he has tattoos of railroad spikes on both forearms. His war paint makes it look like he's covered in soot. I really ain't in the mood to swap words with you rangers. My daughter Jesse should have been home by now. She's been sneaking off with that damn Topekan boy, and I just know he did something stupid and got her captured. Jesse? Have I found anyone named Jesse? Oh, I can talk to him about the bicycle trap. The one I disarmed. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Alright, let's get down to business. You see to have a lot of gunpowder around here. Of course, I've got gunpowder, but I don't got no more voiced lines. We use it to blow up rocks when we're playing track. Yes. Where's the brake shoe? Where you'll never find it. Fair enough. You know, I found a bomb attached to the bicycle in the playground. I was made with a coffee can. Coincidence? Why would you think that had anything to do with me? There's plenty of coffee cans lying around in the world. Oh, go fuck yourself. Jesse's got a Topekan boyfriend? Don't remember his name. Him and Jesse were friends before that thief, Kekaba, kicked us out of the Topekan camp. I told Jesse she had to make friends with Atchison kids now, but she's stubborn, like her dad. Maybe we could help get Jesse back? I. Really? We've been fending for ourselves so long. I forgot what a kind word sounded like. Do you mean it? Just name your price. Just name your price. Well, as much of a piece of shit as he is, he'd probably do anything for his daughter. Meaning he would give me anything. Why would I want the stolen brake shoe back when I could just end the war? I mean, if you end the war, wouldn't you just pretty much get the brake shoe back and a hell of a lot more, too? Hmm. 
Yeah, this, just getting the stolen break shoe back seems incredibly short-sighted. I don't even know why that's an option. End the war. I... Uh, I don't know. I... Alright. You win. This war has done nothing but kill children on both sides. I don't know why I couldn't see it until my own daughter was threatened, but... Well... Go tell Kekaba that if he gives me back my daughter, I'm done killing and ready to bargain. Okay. Might not be polite, but the sooner you're gone, the better. Hey, I thought we had a bond there, now you're back to being a dick. Go fuck yourself. I'm gonna shoot all the damn Atchisons. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to negotiate for peace and try to get your daughter back. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of what this damn keyword would be. It's supposed to be used at a key moment. I mean, it seems like everything that I'm doing so far to resolve this conflict is just done in quest, you know, not like a, with a secret keyword. You know, I've talked to Melissa, I think her name was, and she said if you can resolve the conflict, then sure, I won't do anything crazy, and then this guy says, sure, you know, I'll end the conflict if you... If you get Jesse back, and that's part of the quest, so I'm sure it's gonna show up in the dialogue like normal, like, what is this? I don't know. I'm not seeing an opportunity for secret keywords. Then again, Melissa did say that if an, a single Atchison dies, she's gonna go after Kekaba. And then Casey. So even if Casey says, yeah, let's end this war, maybe Melissa won't agree. I don't know how much of a leader Casey really is. Melissa doesn't seem like she gives a flying shit about him. Old 8-track tape. So many of these things just don't seem like junk. They f I feel like they've got to have a purpose. Like all these game cartridges and stuff. And CDs and laser discs. Like, I've got to give this stuff to that computer dude, right? Where there's got to be like an old 8-track eight, eight tape player that I can use it on or something. Can we fill up our water here? The winch on this well hangs by a few fragments of shrapnel. It looks like it was blown off by a hail of bullets. Huh. They're bomb, obviously. Alright. I think that is the whole place. Yeah, I've gone in all these places. I've spoken to Melissa. These are all just generic Atchitons. I think that's it. Just gotta hope no more are killed on my way to try to negotiate peace. Have I encountered a Jesse? I mean, didn't I go over the entire camp? Back, you know, at the Topekins? So wouldn't I have seen Jesse? Did I? I don't remember her. Hmm. What the hell is that? It, is that a human carcass? A buzz of flies and a foul stench alerts you to a body trapped among the twisted metal. Looks like the flies haven't been the only thing feeding on this guy. Ugh. I'm just trying to think of Jesse. Oh yeah, and the first part of John Henry. The history of John Henry. I don't have that either. I really want it.
Your words don't count for much, but your deeds and bullets do. My words don't count for much. So, is the help screen basically telling me... Hi, I know you have multiple skills for talking. Like kiss ass and hard ass. And smart ass, but... They're pretty much pointless. Rude help screen. It's probably right, though. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to go to Kekabot to ask about Jesse. I feel like something horrible is going to happen when I do that, though. And I want to read this John Henry thing first, but... Uh, before any of that, let's go return the CDI. Take a look at it in route. In route. You might be interested in all this other stuff too. Sega Genesis, Neo Geo. Alright, you're gonna be a happy dude. We found a CDI! Wow, is that what I think it is? I can't believe you found one. Here, have a bunch of quarters. You've got free games on my machines for the rest of your life. Thank you! That is precisely what I need to survive longer in the wastes. When a waste wolf is tearing at my leg, I'll throw quarters at its face. So the quarter is an actual item? Or is it just that I can play forever? Alright, well, let's play. Or, or not. Does it, does it not actually do anything? It doesn't actually do anything, does it? Son of a bitch! Alright, well, let's ask about this other stuff. Sega Genesis. I guess he doesn't care care about either. Um, you heard of Jesse? That's weird. What does that mean when you type something in and it doesn't go like normal? Like like if you type in nonsense, he just says, "Huh." But when I type in Jesse. It makes a noise, and he doesn't say anything. Does it make that noise if it's a topic that's already been talked about? Because it's doing the same thing for the CDI. Did we already talk about Jesse? weird. Oh, whoa. I missed this. Got a couple levels up, too. Copy, Echo One. This is Rain. Now, congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. The story of John Henry Part 3. God damn it, I have Part 2 and 3, but not Part 1. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is gonna drive me fucking crazy, unless I already found it and forgot about it. Oh, it's, you know, if if Part 2 and 3 were found by digging, then Part 1 has got to be also probably in the dirt. I don't know why somebody would want to bury that, though. Kind of a weirdo buries books. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I could, like, find gold spray paint and spray paint these railroad spikes gold? It's like, I have the symbol! I don't know what the hell I'd do with him, but could have some fun with it. 
Alright. Yep. There's those parts. I sorted so if part one was here, it would already be there. You don't have a book. You don't have it. You don't have it. You don't have it, and you don't have it. Yep, I do not have part one. Hmm. I want part one. It's not horribly long. I mean, I don't think I'm going to find part one. Unless I sweep over everything again. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is that it? Could, could that be part one right there? Oh, please. Oh, please be part one. Please. Please. Please? Fuck. Missed a lot of holes. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. And before the beginning of the next one, I'm going to take a quick look around, see if I can find any obvious undigged holes. See if they have the first part of John Henry's story, which I will then proceed to read, because I believe it might be important for solving this conflict. And if not, then it should at least be interesting. And then we will hopefully actually resolve the conflict. Hopefully in a good way, not in a one entire side needs to die, or both of them need to die sort of way. Hopefully we can come to a peaceful resolution, and we shall see. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.